Welcome to SRL 93. Today I got Josh with me from Northern... How you doing? Northern Pursuit Outdoors. Northern Pursuit Outdoors. Today, um, I was able to get my hands on 44 Mag Desert Eagle. And I know it's nighttime right now, but... We're going to see some flames. We're going to see some thing. flames coming out of it. <laughs> we want to get a nighttime shot. Yeah. It's dragging. It's not too often we get to do a little bit of shooting at night, so... Stay tuned, we're gonna show you some fire. Yeah. This uh this Desert Eagle is the like I said, it's the 44 mag. That's a whole lot of handgun right there. And uh this is my first time ever shooting one in 44 mag. I know they have the 50 AE versions and you know all kinds of different ones, but yeah. My first time shooting one, so we're gonna see what kind of fire comes out of it. Josh gonna pop off a few rounds. We're gonna go over here in the snowbank. Any coyotes? Nope. There you go. You always wanna make sure too when you're shooting these desert eagles that these upper frames, you wanna hold your hand down a little bit lower. When that frame slide comes back, it'll slice you right open. Yeah, you gotta be careful on that for sure. Cocked and locked. Well, I was recording on my phone and it died. So we had to go and grab, my, grab Josh's phone so we can uh, keep recording because I haven't shot it yet. But like, uh, like Josh mentioned, for these here, you got to make sure with the tangs when you're holding it, your thumb's not up against it because it'll slice you right open. So when you're holding it, you want to make sure that you're in this position right here. So. Go ahead and load her up. We'll take a take two on this. Yeah, take two. <laughs> you say you're shooting over the snow bank? Yeah. Let okay. me know when you're hot. 44 Magnum. It's like camera. she's Boy, empty. Look at the snake hole and that trigger bitter. Oh yeah. It's got a uh it's got a bolt similar to an AR-15. So when it slide goes in, it locks. But yeah, I mean look at the size of that. And you for this one right here, you can switch it out and get the 41 Magnum also. But uh yeah, the first time ever shooting a Desert Eagle. Still nice and clean. Those are clean burning rounds. Very impressed. Very impressed. I mean, look at that. It holds eight rounds. This folks is what's called a dragon in a holster. Yeah. You almost need a. You almost need like a chest rig or keep it in your backpack or. Definitely not an average day carry, huh, Sebastian? No, I mean I have my, my I have my 45 here, my Glock 21, but you know that's. A little bit of weight to it too, but I mean, this thing's like, if you jump in the water. It's definitely not one you want to put in mama's purse, that's for sure. <laughs> Their purses have everything but the kitchen sink, but probably put Desert Eagle in there. The only thing missing in our gun safe is extra guns. <laughs> the only thing missing in my gun safe is a Desert Eagle. Mine too. <laughs> but I want to thank uh, Green Mountain Sporting Goods. This is available at the shop, this particular one here. Um, I was very happy that we got one in and uh, Brian and Trish let me bring it out and do a little bit of shooting with it because uh, not too often we come across a Desert Eagle so don't be afraid to stop by the shop and uh, check it out we got this here we got a Barrett um, if it ain't sold yet it's a 338 Lapua mag and uh, got all kinds of stuff we just came back from the gun show so yeah definitely stop by and uh, I want to thank again Brian and Trish from Green Mountain Sporting Goods for letting me bring this out tonight. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned to SRL 93. I'll be around definitely. I'll try to get another video in this weekend. And uh, don't be afraid to check out to um, uh, Northern Pursuit. That's uh, Josh's channel there. He's got all kinds of hunting adventures on there. And uh, we'll be definitely doing a lot more this year. So, um, 
he's my he's my duck buddy. He like we go duck hunting, so somebody who had to get me into it, right, Josh? A little expensive, <laughs> but hey, it's worth it though. I'm gonna test out my new uh, Legacy Sports Pointer on them ducks this year, so that's gonna be a that's gonna be a great event. I can't wait to try that out. Yeah.